Temperate and tropical forests are at risk as the biomass industry booms and provides wood pellets from trees as an alternative to burning coal for producing energy, according to forest ecologists. They are lobbying governments, warning that the biomass industry is destroying valuable carbon sequestering forests in the United States, Canada, Eastern Europe, and the Asian tropics. Europe's leading environmental scientists caution that the large-scale substitution of coal for forest biomass only accelerates global warming. The research shows that when a forest is harvested and used for bioenergy, all the carbon in the biomass enters the atmosphere very quickly and it will not be reabsorbed by new trees for decades. That reality is incompatible with the urgent need to tackle the climate crisis and drastically curb carbon emissions now. But that's not United Nations policy. Because of an error in the Kyoto Protocol of 1997, biomass is counted as a renewable energy source on par with wind and solar. Emissions from burning biomass are said to be carbon neutral and not counted against a country's total emissions. That carbon accounting loophole was not closed in the 2015 Paris Climate Agreement. Now, a thriving biomass industry is using the loophole to argue that it's providing countries with a climate-friendly alternative to coal. And that argument is winning. Biomass today is a multi-billion dollar global enterprise, with large new pellet plants opening in the U.S. Southeast, and record tonnages of wood pellets being shipped from British Columbia, Canada just this summer. Vietnam, Malaysia, and Indonesia, each with fragile rainforests, are now producing wood pellets. Meanwhile, South Korea and Japan are joining the UK and European Union in converting coal-fired power plants to burn wood, thus driving up global demand. At a time when the United Nations is calling on all industrialized nations to rapidly reduce their carbon emissions to fight climate change, scientists say the UN is allowing those same countries to burn wood pellets and pretend the carbon emissions don't exist. But as one forest advocate told Manga Bay, we can't burn our way out of the climate crisis. This is Justin Catanoso reporting for Manga Bay.